<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, I'm playing here with my screen. So, welcome to our coffee chat. And today I'm very excited because I get to talk to Nishani Harvey. So, we're going to welcome Nishani. Hi, Nishani. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. So, how is the weather right now where you live at? It's cold. <laughs> it's cold? Oh, no. You need to come to Florida. That is beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Where is your I coffee? Remember. Do what? Where is your coffee? My coffee? Yeah, it's a coffee pad. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Okay, Jenny. So we're gonna we're gonna talk to you because we wanna know more about your business and uh, and everything about you personally and professionally. So we're gonna start. Are you ready? I'm gonna ask oh, you yeah. so many questions. Okay, we're gonna know all your secrets today. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with who is Nishani? A background, okay. a general background about yourself. So first and foremost, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. So secondly, I'm happily married and my husband and I have four beautiful children. I've published four books and I've ghostwritten, stay over there. I've ghostwritten 15 bestsellers, and I also have written um, chapters in two other books and multiple blogs and articles, and I have some poems published, and I love to paint and draw. In fact, this is one of my paintings, a horse, Native American oh. horse. Wow. Um, and so I guess that's all about me. Um, I grew up on a 200-acre horse and cattle ranch and um, moved from there to a small city, which I didn't know what to do with myself. And um, then we lived on a small, or a large, I guess, 106 acres in West Virginia oh, wow. where we had goats and things like that, and just been all over the place, so. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you're traveling. Yeah, you're getting, you're having fun, girl. Yeah. I love that painting, though. So, yeah. So, good morning, Jamie. She's saying good morning. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, now tell us a little bit about what you do, like, for, for a living. I mean, I know you are saying that you are a writer, but what, what else exactly you are doing right now, Nishani? So I, um, I work one-on-one -on -one with my clients. I walk them through writing their books from mind mapping through marketing and into monetization, which mind mapping is the first part of writing your book. And I walk them through um, writing their book all the way through marketing their book. And by monetization, I mean taking their book and changing it into a business on the back end. And I also do the editing and formatting for them. I prepare them to market their own books, giving them social media coaching as well um, to help them prepare their business on the back end of their book. And I use their book to market their current business or um, teach them how to mark, teach them how to make a new business with their book. And um, so this is what makes me different also from other competitors um, is because there's no other writing company, I think, um, that I know of that does these things um, as far as taking it and making it, uh, helping them to make a new business, you know, with their book. Um, and so, but I do this through ghost writing or through programs and courses. I also do author services like editing, proofreading, um, formatting and things like that. I also do copywriting and things. Um, and, uh, I help build author websites um, and things like that as well. So, so I'm very curious how, how, how that helps a business owner. Like for example, if I want to start, if I want to write a book about me and my life, a biography or whatever, how, how exactly that's going to help my business? Well, a, bi a book is like a, 
a business card. Um, if you're writing a book, then it helps you to become a, a person that you're out there, you're getting seen, you know. Um, and if you write a book that's about your niche, that it's making you an authority in your niche. But if you're writing a book about yourself, then you also include those things about what you're learning about, about what your business is about and things like that. So your business is getting seen as well. And so uh, it's, um, it's like I said, it's a business card. you know. And if you're writing a book, like I said, about your niche, then you're getting your being shown as an authority. Um, so it's kind of like if you had a blog about your niche and people are seeing you and they're saying, she knows about this stuff, you know? Right. Well, but yeah, but they're going to know all my secrets. You don't tell them everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I never thought of that like that, but yes, you're right. I mean, that's a pretty good marketing strategy. So if you want to get to more customers, then so how, how, how big do you recommend that book? Like how many pages? It just depends on the book. You know, um, usually a nonfiction book is about 126 pages or so. Um, you don't want it. I mean, it doesn't have to be really long. Um, the nonfiction or the nonfiction engineer um, lately, people are making them shorter and shorter in the ebook side. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so okay. it's not. Um, Wear your, where your face mask. <laughs> I didn't cough on you, so we're all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so people are making them shorter and shorter on the nonfiction side. But people's attention spans seem to be shorter. You know, people don't want to sit down and read really long books nowadays. They just um, want to read things that don't take a really long time. So, in fact, when people are going through and they see a really long book, they tend to set them aside. In, in they take the smaller books instead. So, huh. well, I think you just got a question from Jamie. She says, "Are you a potter or a pantser?" I'm sorry. Do you see that question from Jamie? No, I don't see the questions because I'm. We're in the. Okay, it says, are you a plotter or a pantser? A plotter or a what? Pantser, P-A-N-T-S-E-R. A plotter or a pantser? I guess. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means either. Um, we Maybe don't know. Can expand? Okay, she, she'll explain it in a minute, I guess. Okay, so while she does that, tell me what is. I think I know what she means, and that would I would be a plotter because I sit out, I sit down, and I plot my books. I think is what she means. Do I plot my books out before I write them? Is that what um, she means? She says, do you plan out your books or fly by the seat of your pants? I plan out my books. I plan them out very well okay. <laughs> before I write them. <laughs> okay, we got it, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying me something. I have a book that I'm working on right now, if I can find it. She says that she learned that from people who write books. Yes. Sometimes. This is one of the books that I'm working on. And I've got all of my chapters written down, written out. Wow. So wow, that's interesting. And that's just um, the chapters. I haven't gone through and actually done the mind mapping on it, but that's the um, just the chapters that I'm doing so far. I haven't done the mind mapping on the chapters, but that's, that's awesome. The ideas for the chapters so far. But yeah, definitely a plotter. Okay. Okay. Well, now she says, you go, girl. All right. Okay. So now tell me what exactly inspired you to pursue this idea, Ms. Um, I love helping people. You know, I'm a teacher by calling. 
and I love to write. So everyone has a book inside of them, and I figured if I'm teaching someone to write their book, why not teach them everything that has to go with taking care of a book? So, and everything that has to go with, you know, your business side as well. Uh -huh. So that's why I went with the whole business idea that has to go with everything that goes with writing a book, as you know. So I do the the website, I do the, you know, going all the way as far as building a business with it as well, because that's where the money comes from when you're writing a book is building the business end of it. Right. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So you already told us what makes you different from your competitors. So that's, that pretty much was like in the first questions. So now tell me how has COVID-19 pandemic challenged you personally and professionally? Um, really, I'm a homebody anyway, and my business is all online, so it hasn't really challenged me that much. In fact, it's been one of those, yay, I get to stay home kind of things. <laughs> so, I mean. Yeah, I hear you. And you get to be with your kids. Well, I homeschool anyway. I've homeschooled for 12 years. So. The four kids that you have homeschooling? Yes. Wow. Which I haven't homeschooled my four kids for 12 years because my youngest is only seven, but I've homeschooled my oldest for 12 years. Wow. And so. you do the writing and you homeschool your kids. That's a lot of work, Nishani. I enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, but I really applaud you because I know it's a lot of work and still you need to take care of your kids. You are a mama. And that's like the priority always, but you still make time to do all of this and you just keep, you know, trying to follow your dreams. So that's, that's pretty cool. So yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Okay. So now tell me where do you see yourself in the near future? Well, I hope to be just as overwhelmed with work as I am right now and maybe even more so right now I'm hiring work out. And that's just a great feeling because I know I'm helping other people as well. Not only am I helping people through my business, but I'm helping other people by giving them work to do and by giving them finances that they wouldn't have had otherwise. And that's just a great feeling, you know, because um, I'm helping other people. Right. And so I'm hoping to be just as busy in the near future as I am at the moment. Oh, well, that's cool. Well, maybe we can start writing my book. That would be awesome. Oh, no, you don't want to cry. No. <laughs> you want to be laughing, maybe, and crying. Okay. That so, uh, yeah, that'd be good. Yes? It'd be yeah. like a little bit of comedy, and then you're going to be like, oh, my God, Anna, this is going to be like in the drama area or something. <laughs> okay. So now tell us, Naishani, how you are serving the community. Well, I'm also giving back. My business gives to um, to charities. So, you know, not only do I have my church, but I also have um, people like um, one of the networking groups that I go to um, that I that I give to. Um, we help other charities through that. Um, one of the people that we give to there through there, we just gave um, over seven hundred dollars to. Um, which I think, Anna, you go to that networking group as well. Uh -huh. um, we just gave to um, Family Promise. Um, so that's that's a great thing, you know. Um, yeah, I know that. Yeah. I, I didn't quite understand what, what that association was because, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm new in that uh, group. Mm -hmm. well, but I didn't quite understand what they did. So do you know what they do? Family Promise? Uh -huh. They um, help other people um, when people are um, down on their luck, I guess. Okay. Um, they help to, from what I understand, Family Promise helps people that are having um, issues with homing, um, okay. with housing and things like that, and they help them to get rehoused. Oh, yeah, um, okay. things so awesome well yeah that's a pretty good thing you know Kim Kim Washington is always uh, promoting that 
and posting that like we need to give back the, the, the give back to the community. Right. And that's pretty awesome that you you get to do it yourself as well. So that's awesome. So do you have any special advice for business owners right now? Well, definitely time? you need to schedule your time. You know, scheduling is very important. And I would suggest that when you schedule your time, you also remember your family because your family is your greatest asset. But as far as scheduling your time goes, you need to make sure that you don't over schedule your time. Because a lot of people think, you know, I can get X amount of stuff done in X amount of time. And they don't realize that they're over scheduling their time. Because if you take something that my father-in-law did one time for my husband is he gave him a piece of paper and it had like all the hours of a day on it. And he said, take your time or take the things that you want to do and actually block them and say, you know, I want you to take these things and write them down, each of the things that you want to do and be serious or be, um, you know, uh, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, um, I can't think of the words. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and I'm supposed to be a wordsmith, right? So, <laughs> Well, anyway, coffee. Just have your coffee and maybe the words start coming. It would, right? But my coffee maker stinks. Anyway, my mom took the coffee maker next door when she moved out. Oh, um, no. I can yeah. go to your coffee machine. I know. So anyway, um, anyway, be um, be real with yourself, you know, and um, put that down a time block. This is how long this thing will take. This is how long this thing will take and see how much time you actually have during the day. And he took the things that he wanted to do and he had so many things that he wanted to do. They wouldn't even fit in a 24 hour period. And he was like, oh, my goodness. You know, so if you do that and take the things you want to do, you'll realize that you've overbooked your day. Right. This is why you're not getting everything done that you want to do in a day. And then you get to the end of the day, you're like, I didn't do all these things that I wanted to do. You know, I'm not worth what I think that I'm worth. And, you know, it just makes you feel horrible because you didn't yeah. get everything done that you want to do. And you got to realize that you're just overbooking your day. It's not that you're, you know, that you're worthless. It's not that you're, you know, that you're not getting done what you want to do. It's that you're overbooking your day. So right. I suggest that everybody sits down with a time thing like this and actually try to figure out what you can do in a day. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to schedule in your time with your family. Don't forget to schedule in time to eat, you know, and make sure that you have your day scheduled out correctly. And um, it's very important, you know. That's very nice. It's very interesting because sometimes we just get so busy with everything we have to do during the day. And we just really forget about our priorities. And mm -hmm. I think that's a very good idea. And that pretty much helps you not stress, you know, about the activities or about what you have to do if you have like a schedule. And I'm so glad to hear how important to you um, the family is, because believe me, it's something that it's missing in our society. Uh, we get so busy and we get, you know, with all our things that we have to do and the goals and the price of life that we don't stop and see what it is really important. And uh, we complain a lot about society and about things that are going on in the world, but we are not spending time with our kids we're not spending time with the family because whatever reason is okay you are not there for your kids right that pretty much sucks so i i am i i'm happy to hear that next time. even though you are busy because i bet you are really busy your priority is and it will always be be a mama and that is pretty nice plus of course, your priority is loving Jesus. That is pretty much what I'm sure is giving you the strength to take care of all of that. Right. So, anyway, so do you have any special offers for the members of Babel Networking? Um, well, I offer free coaching sessions. Um, one free coaching session per person and it doesn't have to revolve around your book you know it can be about your website it can be about your book it can be about social media and um, because I work 
with all of these things. Um, and I have um, these things going on right now. And like I said, it's a free coaching session. It usually lasts anywhere between an hour, an hour and a half. And um, so this is something that I have going on. And I would work with, as far as right now, I will help you build your website. Um, typically, website building is um, $2,000, but I will help anybody in this um, group with their website for 50% off. Oh, so. Wow. so did you hear members of Aval Networking? You better start calling Nishoni right now because she will hook you up. And yeah, you you know, we should organize like a workshop uh, with all the members <clears throat> because that's pretty interesting. So we will work on that, Nishani. We'll, we'll talk later about that. And we can, or, and we can do that. <clears throat> okay, so now you get me your flu, you see? <clears throat> I told you to wear a, a face mask. <laughs> so now tell us how we can reach you. Um, my website is learnhowtowriteabook.com. And um, I put my information in the private chat here in StreamYard. You can actually um, share that and it'll come up on the screen. Okay. I don't know if you know how to do that. It's really simple to do. I found it. Okay. So my email is nishoni at authorsofflame.com and my phone number is 863-557-3080. Awesome. Thank you, Nishoni. Is there anything else? Oh, let me read what, it, what they are writing you here. That's talent right there, Genesis. Scheduling is so important. So I think that you have a lot of support and we really enjoy and we are sure that we are going to be learning a lot from you, Nishani. So is there anything else you would like to add to this coffee chat? I also have um, a thing coming up on Tuesday. Um, it is um, how to stick to a writing schedule or how to stick to a writing routine. So it's Tuesday night, uh, 9 Eastern Standard, 8 Central. And um, it is through, um, it's, you can find it on Meetup on Writer's Corner. It's Writer's Corner, um, how to stick to a writing routine. So let me see if I can grab the link real quick. Hold on. Sure. And you girls. Thank you very much for watching us and joining us this coffee chat. If you have any question for Nishani, just shoot it and I will waiting for her. Well, she finds. It's in the chat. Um, I'll put the link in, thank you, hold on, okay. I'll put the link in Babel Networking in the group or in the page or whatever, mm -hmm. in, um, mm -hmm. a Vasita link. And okay. I'll take you to scheduling so that you can schedule it. It's only 99 cents. I do the um, the group for 99 cents and it will, it's learning. It's also a thing you get to tell about any group or anything that you're working on. And you get to tell about any books that you've written, give a link to it and um, things like that. And you get to learn about sticking to a writing schedule, but it won't only help for your writing routine. It'll also help for business routines or business schedules and things like that. Just sticking to a schedule in particular. So, Awesome. That sounds very interesting. So you said uh, uh, tomorrow at nine o'clock Eastern time? Yes. And eight o'clock Central time. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So That's I nice. just posted the link. So whoever is interested in taking this online um, course about a scheduling, just click on that link, right? That's the only thing they have to do. Just click on that link and just sign up. Yes. Okay. Okay. And you posted it in in Babel Networking. Okay. So it's gonna be posted there. So you just click on it and you'll be up and running for that online course. Awesome. Awesome. So is there anything else, Nishani, that you would like to add to this copy chat? 
before we go? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for this time. It is pretty interesting knowing how women Same. and I, <laughs> how women like you are going through still a lot of personal stuff, but you are still doing and helping people serving the community. I love your passion about uh, everything you are doing with your um, writing and how you're helping people. And um, um, I know that we are going to be, as I said, learning from you a lot. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your time. And Janice says thank you as well. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Yes, ma'am. OK. Thank you, Nishani. You're welcome. Y'all have a great day. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Just on my book. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.